Soka Artis, youth activist and the founding member of Rice St. Lucia Incorporated, Jonathan Ninja Dan St. Rose, hyping up Denry Primary School students and advising them on the subject of conflict resolution. The school used the award ceremony to celebrate its accomplishments and to encourage students to always strive for excellence in their various academic, sporting and extracurricular endeavors, using the island's two Nobel laureates as examples of achievements. Principal of the Denry Primary School, Cheryl Francis, says the students awarded have made their school and parents proud, and it's only fitting to celebrate their achievements. We have gathered here not just to celebrate the achievements of our students, but also to give due regard to our values and morals, which these awards exemplify, like discipline, perseverance, being resilient through adversity, and the epitomizing of a zeal for learning. Students who excelled received merit badges and certificates, whilst the top achievers received a laptop computer provided by Sasha King, a former student who lives and works overseas. Ms. King sees the gesture as her way of giving back to her community and to the school which she once attended. She too encouraged students to always strive for excellence. You can make it if you, if you try. Okay, you can make it. It's the, there's no way on ifs and ofs about it. There's no, there's no way you can say, well, I cannot try, I cannot make it. Reach for the stars. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Education officer for District 5, Jean Sharif, told Denry Primary School students that they can succeed at their future endeavors once they worked hard at it. But he also warned them of not being easily distracted. So you will not wake up next day and be successful just overnight. You will not just wake up next day and have a degree. You will not just wake up next day and probably have a big house or a car or something. You have to be determined to excel, to put in the extra work, to go the extra mile, to study, to listen to your teachers, to produce the work that is expected of you if you are going to excel in life. The school also took the opportunity at the ceremony to install and bestow powers on a number of students as litter wardens. These carefully selected students will help police in discriminate littering on the school compound fostering a clean and healthy school environment. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.